Hi, and welcome to ClickFix. In this video, we're going to talk about security rules in ClickSense. I will explain how to troubleshoot issues that we suspect could be security rule related. As we know, ClickSense allows users to create custom security rules. And as more and more of these custom security rules are made, they can cause some confusion and issues in the system if the custom security rules are not managed properly. I'm going to demonstrate a way to verify and conclude if an issue is security rule related. Rules can be checked and identify which one is causing the problem. To start with, as we know, each user can have a security role, for example, root admin. And in the system, we have security rules that can assign these roles. What we need to do is go and create a custom security rule. This will allow the user that's assigned to it to have access to everything. To do this, we will call the security rule the T super admin. We will go to security rules in QMC and we create a new one. And we call it, we give it a name, we call it something unique, T super admin. And we give it a description. And of course, for the resource filter, it has to be star. And we give this user the rights to create, read, update, delete, export, publish, change owner, and change role, and export data. This should be enough to use everything. And also we need to set the condition for a user role to refer to the T super admin that we created. So basically this condition will relate to this role, which is called T super admin. And it applies to both in the hub and the QMC. We click apply, and it's successfully added. So now we go to security rules and we can search for this T super admin. There it is, which is good. If the user that is complaining that they don't have access to a certain section or a certain stream, or they can't view a certain app, all we need to do is select that user, for example, user one, and we edit the user and we need to add the role. So we just need to assign the user to the new rule that we created. T super admin and apply it. Now when this user logs in, if we go to users, we will see that user one is a T super admin. Now this user can go back to the hub and log in and they should be able to see everything in the system just like the root admin. And if this is correct and they could access whatever they were not able to access before, then we have demonstrated that the issue is security rule related and the custom security rule will need to be checked a little bit further. That's it. I hope this helped. If not, please search for more information in the support portal. And thank you for watching. Nailed it.